All right, I'm going to show you how to play the main riff to a whole lot of love. It's a really good one for learning how to play power chords and do basic palm muting. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about palm muting. You want to make sure that you're using the karate chop part of your hand against the strings over here. Okay, so if you take that karate chop part and you lay it right over where the strings come over the bridge. If you move too far forward, you're going to get that deadened sound. And if you move too far back, you're not going to get any palm mute at all. The point of the palm mute is to muffle the strings so they're not fully able to vibrate. So if I just put my hand right here, and I might have to explore that. Every guitar is a little bit different, so I might have to move forward a little bit or backward a little bit uh, to find that ideal spot, but that's where we're going to create that palm mute. So the first thing for you to practice is simply trying to get that effective palm muting sound of the sixth string. Okay, but it's really just done by this part of your palm. You're just setting it down on those strings. Okay, the second part is a single note riff, and it looks like this. You're going to play seven on the sixth string with your third finger, and then you're going to go to the fifth fret of the fifth string with your first finger. Okay, and you're going to do that twice. You're going to play seven, five, seven, five. Okay. Now the goal whenever you're playing single note stuff is to try and keep the notes separate from each other. Okay, and then we're simply going to move up to the seventh fret of the fifth string. We're going to create a power chord, and we're going to strum that power chord. We're going to strum the fifth string, fourth string, and third string. So a power chord, you put your first finger on the fifth string, your third finger on the fourth string, and your pinky on the third string. So I'm on seventh fret, ninth fret, ninth fret. Now the goal with the power chord is make sure that when you strum it, you can only hear a total of those three strings. If you play it and you only strum the fifth string and the fourth string, you'd still be fine. Okay, it still produces a chordal sound because you have two notes ringing out. But you can't strum any more than three. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got the element of palm muting. We've got this little riff of going from seven to five. Twice. And I'm just down picking all of those right now. What you'll notice when I'm doing this, I'm trying to separate the notes though. That's the most important thing is don't leave both fingers down and go, because then it sounds like a chord and it sounds kind of weird. So after you play the seven, you want to release and then play the five. And the trickiest part about that is being able to like, when you play the seven and you're going to move to the fifth fret of the fifth string here with your first finger, what I do is I use the very tip of my index finger to lightly touch the sixth string underneath. I don't push on the sixth string, I just lightly touch it. That way when I take my ring finger off, it deadens the sound of the sixth string. See? Otherwise, if I did this, if I take that finger off, it's going to cause that sixth string to vibrate. But if I'm lightly touching it with the tip of my index finger, it kills it. Okay? So then I'm going to move up to this chord, the fifth string, seventh fret power chord. Okay? Now here's the trick. So the, the main thing is, is to be able to get that chord to sound right, and then we're going to palm mute four times on the sixth string. Sorry, three times. Okay, so it equals four. All right, so what we're going to do is strum that, and then immediately come in with our karate chop part of our hand and mute three times. Now the goal is, is to make sure that you're lifting the wrist and then setting it back down. Don't try and like half and half it where you're kind of muting and kind of not. Just bring the wrist up and when you want, set it down. Lift it up, set it down. So you see, those are all independent things that you need to work on as far as progressing on your guitar. Palm muting, single note picking, and deadening appropriate strings. The other thing I should say about that too is I want you to see how I'm using my index finger to kind of deaden out all the strings underneath as well. So I'm not trying to do this and, and miss all the strings. It's not like open chords. What I'm doing is I, I only want the notes that I'm playing to make sound, to be vibrating. So I got to make sure I'm deadening out everything else that I don't want. And then I move up to the power chord, I strum it and palm mute three times. And that's the basic premise of how to play um, <laughs> Whole Lot of Love by Led Zeppelin. <laughs>